Hi kids, Mr. Gleason here, and today we're going to draw something that I like to call Drawing with Drawing. I will move nice and slow, and I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, this is Mr. Gleason, and today we are going to practice doing Drawing with Drawing. And so what I'm going to do is we're going, I'm going to demonstrate and talk at the same time. Here we have a model of a face. We're going to draw a basic face. To draw the basic face, we're going to use certain tools. We're going to use insert, which is here. When we use insert, we're going to select shape. And there's our shapes. We're also going to use arrange, and right here the word order. Now you can't see it right now because we have not chosen what it is we want to order, but this will be a very important tool for us. We're going to draw a basic face. A basic face will consist of the head, two eyes, two ears, the nose, the mouth, and hair. Let's get started. Our shape will be found in the insert. Here is insert, and if this goes too fast for you, pause it or rewind it. We go to insert. We're going to go to shape. Go to your right, and there we have our shapes. We're going to select the circle shape. That's the basic head. In future videos, we could shape something else. Notice the X. Where I place the X, our circle will appear. And there's our circle. To make your circle larger or smaller, use the corners. That way the circle will stay proportional if you pull it directly out. So we're going to try to make it about the same size as our model. <clears throat> now we're about to use our fill tool. So we're going to click on our shape. This is the fill. You want to remember what it is? See the bucket? The bucket is filling it up with color. The bucket is filling your object with color. Click on it and there's our variety of colors to choose from. Let's take a color that is like a human face. I'm going to take this medium brown shape. And see what happens. There we go. I'm going to make that a little lighter so that the ears will stand out more. That's called contrast. I know this is not the exact same shape or color, I'm sorry, as our model. But that is okay. So now we have our basic head. <coughs> Next we're going to do our eyes. Notice the eyes have three concentric circles. One, two, and then the black part. Three. There is a way to duplicate the eyes. We will show that on a later instructional video. So again, we're going to choose insert, shapes. What's our shape going to be? That's right, it's going to be a circle. Choose. Here's our shape. Here's our cursor. And there's our circle. We will make the circle smaller. And because eyes are not perfectly round, this, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. Now, we're going to have two of these eyes, aren't we? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this eye. I'm going to use two fingers and press. See what happens? I'm going to go up to copy. Come here. Two fingers. Paste. There's my second eye. And it's the same shape and size as the first eye. We're going to make our eyes white. This is the eye part. I don't know the medical term for it. Go here. On this last box at the end is actually white. There it is. See the word white? That is white. This is light gray. This is white. We will do the same for this eye. Fill color. Gradient. White. There's the word white. Choose it. 
<clears throat> now we're going to make the blue part of the eye. So where do we go again? That's right. Insert, shape, and I think you're starting to get the hang of it by now. Circle, choose, right there in the eye. We'll make it smaller so it will fit right in there. And for this eye, I made it a little bit long. So I elongated it. There we go. Put it right there in the center. What color are we going to make it? Blue. What do we use? That's right, fill color. Blue eyes. And there you go. Do I want to redraw it? I could redraw it, or I could copy it. Two fingers, press the pad, copy, copy, go to this eye, paste, two fingers, paste. I think you're getting the hang of it. I'm going to drag this one over here, and we have, these two are the same. The blue parts are the same. Now we have one more part, which is the black part. Where are we going to go? There you go. You got it. Insert. I think some of you guys may already be there. Another circle. We go here. <clears throat> Place it there. See how large it is? We shall make it smaller. Even smaller than the blue part. Put it right there in the center of the blue part. I'm going to bring in these edges a little bit. There we go. Move it over. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller still. We're going to make the color what? Black. There we go. Do I want to draw it again? No, let's copy it. Two fingers. Press. Copy. Come to this eye. It's actually not going to land right there. And press. What do we use? Copy or paste? That's right, paste. Drag it over. And that takes care of our eyes. <coughs> Note the black parts are not identical to this, but I want you guys to fool around and play with it and have fun. Now we're going to create the ears using the same exact technique. Only this time, be ready, we're going to use the arrange button. So let's get our circles for our ears. Insert. Shape. Circle. We'll come here, put the, uh, the ear approximately here. That circle is much too big for an ear. We do what? Make it smaller. And let's, you know, your, eye, your ear is a little more elongated. <coughs> and make it a little smaller. There we go. Place it right here. Let's change the color of that ear. And we're not going to make it the same color as the face because we want it to stand out. So we go to what? Fill color. It's still highlighted. Those blue squares indicate that you're still working with this. And we're going to make it different. So we're going to make it darker or lighter. You want to go darker? Let's try darker. All right. Now we know those are the ears. Now, pay close attention. Right now, the ear is in front of the eye, of the face. And we know our ears are not in front of our face. They're sort of behind it. So watch what I do very carefully. I highlight the ear, clicking, highlight it. I'm going to use the arrange. Go to the menu. Here's the word arrange. Click the word arrange. Pause. Take a breath. There are three instructions there. Order, center on page, rotate. We're going to order. I order the ears to do the following. The ears are going to go here. I'm going to go here. We're going to send back or backward. I'm sorry. We're going to let me try that again. Arrange, order. We're going to send the ears to the back. And there it is. See what it did? Now the ear is still there. It's just behind the rest of the face. So let's copy that ear, and even though it is behind the head, I can still copy it. Come over here. It's not going to go where I tell it to. 
going to go over here, but I simply drag it on over. And you'll notice these lines are helping us figure out where to place the ear. There you go. What do we use? Go to the range key, range menu bar, click, go to order. I order the ears to go to the back. And there they go. Because the ears always obey me. Okay, so now we've taken care of two, the head, two eyes, and two ears. What's next? Nose. Now here's where you can really have a lot of fun with this. <clears throat> and this will take you some practice. There are a lot of different ways to draw lines. So, look for this tool. It looks like a line, and there is the word line. Click on the arrow, and there are a variety of lines that you can draw. For this, I'm going to use Scribble because it will draw exactly the way I want to and I don't need to practice on it. You can practice on your own time. So I will choose Scribble. Now your cursor is like a pencil or a pen, if you will. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw a nose. And this will take practice. And there's my nose. <laughs> little funny looking nose okay you're going to practice on this on your own and your noses will become better now that takes care of the nose now we're going to draw the mouth to clear that up I'm going to go here and select the scribble now you notice this has changed from a line to scribble because that was the last tool we used. I'm going to take scribble one more time. And that did not work the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to click the back key. And there's my scribble tool. And now I'm going to draw my face. That was Mr. Sloan who just came in to get some of his stuff because he was nice enough to let me borrow his office. Now I can leave that line right there. Let me try that again. This is called your undo button. If you do something and you don't like it, click undo. <coughs> let me try that again. And again, this will take practice, kids. Just like you when you were in kindergarten and learn to draw your letters. And not put a little shape in there. Make it, you know, well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's a good smile. All right. So where are we now? We have our head, two eyes, two ears, nose, mouth, finally the hair. We're going to come back again to our, oh, click the text tool. Okay. We're going to go back to shapes. For today, we're going to take another, yet another circle for our hair. There's the circle we drew. Now I'm going to really do something with the shape of that circle. And in other instructions, we will practice. There are ways to make the hair wavy and curly. Today we're just going to plop some hair up there and be happy with that. Okay, bring it down a little bit. What color shall we make the hair? Our model has it black, so we'll stick with the model. There's the black hair. And what do we do to make the hair go behind the head? Now, actually, I could leave it right there. That's a pretty cool looking haircut. But just for the fun of it. Let's say he's old like me. <coughs> Has that receding hairline. So I go to the arrange order. I order the hair to move to the back. And he's done. There. Now you've got a basic face. A head, two eyes, two ears, nose, mouth, and hair. We will try other designs in extra episodes. Have fun.